pop-up tutorial, Jillian here. Um, it's a cold, rainy, miserable night here in Melbourne. So I thought that I might just jump on and give you a quick tutorial. So I want to talk about getting higher resolution image downloads on Canva. We all talk about this because when you download a PNG or a JPEG from Canva, the resolution is not great and you can't get high res images. A lot of us have mucked around with things like doing a PDF, high res PDF download and then converting it. But I've got a little trick that you can use and this trick is dedicated to the overwhelming excitement everyone had when I started talking about print on demand. So I'm going to use that as my example, but you can use this trick for anything. Anytime you are finding that, say, your Facebook header or anything like that is not coming up as crisply as you would like it, try this out. So here is a design I created earlier. Um, this is sitting on a standard Instagram template. So what's that about um, 1080 by 1080 pixels? Let's just see. Yes, that's exactly what it is. So if I download this, what I'm going to get, and I'm going to show you exactly how you can tell, particularly if you're using print on demand, whether you've got a higher resolution enough image. So I'm just going to switch this over. I have, I did just download it that a second ago, but I'm going to switch over to my print on demand service. And what I'm going to do is upload the file that I just created. So bear with me while I open a few screens here and drag this over. So here's the one I uploaded. I'm just going to drag and drop it onto here and it will upload. And the great thing about most print on demand services is they will then tell you what your print quality is. So you can see that size that I just got off Canva. It's not looking great. Um, it is, aside from the fact that I haven't downloaded it as a transparent, which was a bit naughty, um, you can see that it's medium resolution, 108 DPI, and they're recommending a larger file for better results. So how do you achieve that in Canva? Well, there is something you can do. So we'll just actually delete this one off because we're not going to use it and go back to our design. So what I'm going to do here, and in terms of what I'm doing here, it's a Canva for work hack of being able to change your size like this. So if you are doing this from scratch, just think about this sizing before you get started. So the thing I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to change the dimensions. I'm going to use custom dimensions. This is all here under the file menu. And I'm going to change that to the maximum size, which is 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. And then I'm going to resize it. So we'll just give it a title so I know which one it is. Uh, high res. Done. Now that's, as you can see on my screen, it looks pretty much the same. But now when I go to download it, I'll do a PNG and I, this time I'll remember to add a transparent background. I'm just going to download that. While that's downloading, we'll go back to the shop and to our t-shirt design. Shouldn't take too long. Come on. It's like watching. There we go. Okay. So let me just find this over here. Hi, Rez. Where have you gone? There we go. So I'm going to drag and drop this again. And that's going to upload. And if the magic has all occurred in a moment. You can already tell it's a larger file because it's taking so much longer to upload. There you go. Suddenly we have that image as a good quality and it is 500 DPI. So as you can see, the program itself has managed the sizing and it has adjusted that. So it still fits inside the print area there, which I'm going to just put that on a, maybe it a white t-shirt or a gray, no, it's going to have to be white so you can see it properly. So you can see we've got now a fantastic high res, really nice image, all ready to be printed. So a lot of people think that you can't do print on demand with Canva. You absolutely can. It's all about increasing the size of your design. So as I said, 5,000 by 5,000, I'm pretty sure that is the maximum. I'm going to just test that just to test myself, see if I can go any higher. 
Yep, see, maximum size, 5,000 pixels. So there's my little trick for today. Try this out on other things. Like a lot of people find that their Facebook headers are a little bit blurry. All you have to do is increase the size proportionately. So if the recommended size is 500 by 500, you can go up to 5,000 by 5,000 as long as the proportions stay the same. Most programs you're using, they're going to adjust it as you upload it to still fit in the space required. Hope that was a helpful hint. Um, it's very quiet today because, of course, it is terrible time to go online and do this, but I thought I'd leave this as a little surprise for everyone over there in the Northern Hemisphere when you wake up. If you're here in the Southern Hemisphere with me, most of you are probably just getting ready to either go out on Friday night, getting into the weekend. Have a fantastic weekend. As I said, there's going to be lots more on print on demand coming. It's really exciting that everyone's interested in it. And I look forward to sharing it with you really, really soon. Great to speak again. And I will catch you later. Bye.